Everybody loves to modify their motorcycle. I know I sure do. And so I'm going to give you a bit of a walk around of what I've done to my 2019 KTM 1090 Adventure. Besides the obvious mods of putting a few stickers on my bike, I'm going to walk through some of the parts that I've put on. So I've gone through a few sets of tires. This is the uh, currently the Motaz Tractionator H Desert HT, and uh, it's a really gnarly tire and love it. It's uh, really great in the mud and sand. And uh, up front, I put a high fender on. Uh, this is from a Cherbis. Uh, it comes with these high fender guard or the fork guards. And uh, it's been really a seamless installation. Doesn't rub on anything and it's great. I was really worried that it was gonna create a lot of uh, buffeting on the highway, but uh, don't even notice it. And it just gives me a lot of peace of mind if I'm running into some really uh, thick mud. Sticking up front here, I've got an SW Motec skid plate. Uh, it mounts up nicely to the frame of the motorcycle. And uh, I didn't, uh, I opted not to put any high crash bars on. I have dropped this bike uh, more times than I'd like to admit. And uh, the, the stock crash bars are just fine. Um, they are in line with the handlebar. And um, so when I fall over, the turn signals up out of the way. I haven't even replaced the stock mirrors. Those are the stock mirrors that don't even touch ground if I do lay down. And uh, the only thing that I've had to replace is the exhaust bracket at one point when I did tip over too much and did some extra damage. Besides that, uh, the only other thing on this side of the bike that I've changed is uh, this little plate uh, just off Amazon. It protects the uh, the 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 rear brake uh, mechanism and it makes a nice place for my, my boot to rest against. On, as I work backwards here, I've put a, a heat shield on because I do run uh, soft luggage and uh, Turkana's system and you can see I've, re I've removed the rear um, foot peg and obviously if I want to carry somebody I've got to put that back on but that's just the clip for the soft luggage. <laughs> The other thing I've done in the rear is I've kept, I put on a uh, rear plate uh, of more beefy luggage rack. Um, when I'm not running my soft luggage, I do put a hard case on there for around town because it's lockable and I can put my helmet in there. The only thing I've done on this side is the factory uh, um, pannier racks come with a little uh, hook here. And so I took that off and I did keep this piece on because it's a nice place to hold on to. You may have noticed that I don't have a passenger hand rails or, you know, another handle to pick up your bike. Um, confession, I broke mine, so I just cut it, cut the other one off, and I actually like the look better. It's a little more sleek in the rear, and if I do need to pick up the bike, I can just reach over and pick it up right there. On this side, I um, haven't really done a whole lot else besides uh, I did install the Rottweiler uh, canister delete. And I've also added a really cheap uh, slave cylinder guard. Um, had some issues with a 950 uh, in the past and uh, with that slave cylinder guard when a chain failed. Uh, so I try to protect that as much as I can. And I've added a, a bigger foot for the uh, kickstand because the kickstand foot is quite small. Up in the cockpit here, I've modified a, uh, made a bracket to hold a, modified car Garmin. Uh, it's just waterproof with some silicone around here and it's been working great. Um, KTM had all the wiring for a auxiliary plug, but uh, they didn't sell one, so I had to buy that. And uh, also I had to purchase uh, heated grips, which uh, integrates with the dash. Uh, KTM didn't supply those. I do have a throttle lock on here. This is a KO. You can read it here, Kaok O, uh, it's from South Africa, and uh, all it does is lock the throttle in place when you spin it, and then when you want to disengage it, you roll forward and it releases the throttle. Really like it because it's completely out of the way. It's not affecting any area of my thumb, and I don't even notice it while I'm riding. It just kind of 
hangs out on the side and it kind of looks cool. It's just part of the, the bike. Put uh, different uh, hand guards on because I did break one and so the original stock ones are just plastic so tusk uh, uh, hand guards there. And you'll notice on this side, I do have a Velcro piece on here. That's to hold on hippo hands. And so hippo hands uh, for when it's raining out here. And it is raining out here today in beautiful British Columbia. And uh, so I have hippo hands on. Other than that, uh, I've put, I've added a side stand dongle so that uh, if something happens to that mechanism down there, uh, my bike will still run. Uh, basically tricking it so that it thinks that the side stand is up all the time and uh, that's about it for the major obvious mods I've done some uh, crash mods um, broke my headlight here this is just some beautiful uh, clear tape that's done well uh, damaged a little bit of plastics and cracked the fairing up here that shows you how much I've been using this bike and uh, how many mods I've done to it some intentional and some by accident. And so there's a walk around of what I've done to my KTM adventure. Thanks for watching. Ride safe out there.